guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Hitakshi. So today we're gonna be talking about WWDC 2020. We had to watch all of this keynote online, sitting at our own homes because of this current situation. And Apple has brought all of new exciting updates for all of us. I'm so excited to talk about WWDC with all of you guys. Apple has made sure that they tried the level best to make the viewers feel like they're watching it live from Steve Jobs Theater, which is so amazing. So let's talk about it. We were all eager for the launch of iOS 14 and now it's here. And it was the most exciting thing about WWDC. They introduced widgets to their iPhone. Obviously it was an Android thing, but it had to be get there in your iPhones because it was the most requested thing. You can now adjust the size of the widgets as you use it accordingly. You can integrate them into your home screen and use them according to your use. Here is the app stack which are excellently curated as you use them. As you can swipe through them and you can pick, through, pick the right one for you in the moment. And here is the new app library in which you can find all of your apps in just in one place. I have no idea what took them so long to get it here but it looks incredibly cool. I always used to swipe down for the app I'm looking forward to, but here it made it so easy for me to look up for an app. You have all of your apps just in one place, your suggestions in one place, your games in one place, and all of your other criteria, they're always organized in, in a particular criteria and it is super organized. I'm just loving it so much. They also introduced picture-in-picture, picture, which is so incredible. It was some, something which we're gonna use a lot. You can have your video and your home screen at the same time you can go through your notes or attend a facetime call while the video is still going on with the audio and if you don't want the video at the home screen you can just push it to the side in the one corner and the audio would still go on and you can do all all of your work which you want to do on your home screen which is so incredible trust me i'm going to use this feature a lot and not about me you're going to you two are gonna use it a lot. There are a lot of updates in the messages app too. You're, if you're in a group chat, you can reply to a particular chat. No, it is also known as in replies and messages app. And you can mention, you can add mentions in your particular chat and it will directly link into the person whom you have mentioned in, the, in that chat, which is so incredible. We have always wanted this in messages app and now it's here. It is so easy and it is so compact for us now to directly just go through the particular chat and reply to that particular chat and reply to it. It is so nice and sleek, so organized. Now there's an option of pinning one of the most important chats. You can add up to nine person at the same time, including all of your groups. It gives up little pop-up messages about what they texted and even in group chats, it tells about who texted and what they texted. So it makes it a lot easier for you. Instead of going into the whole conversation, you can just go through what was going on through those little pop-up messages. Trust me, they have made up such a huge changes in this messages app. I love it so much. We can definitely not forget about Siri. Previously, when you activated Siri, it used to occupy the whole screen. But with this new update, it when you activate it, it will just appear on the bottom of the screen, just like a cute small spear. And, and you just ask what you want to do to the Siri and it will do all of your work through that small circle without even occupying the whole screen, without hiding all the context which you have on your screen, which is so incredible. If you want to ask about weather updates while you are in Safari or on your notes, it will just give you, it will tell you about the weather, like a small notification, which is so incredible. They have introduced so many new Memoji characters. Personally, I use Memoji a lot to express what I feel at the moment in messages. I love playing with Memoji a lot. I talk a lot in, in Memoji with a lot of people. There is new age option. They added 20 new hairstyles reflecting upon your personality, character and occupation. They even added a face mask to their Memoji. And at this point of time, everyone is wearing a mask and they don't have a reason for not wearing a mask and they have made it so much fun also. There is an important update in the Maps app too. You have the cycling option which will show paths, roads and even elevation and tells if the road is busy or if they have moderate traffic, if they have stairs and steep slope. It is also important that if they, they tell about st steep slope because 
it will let you know that if you have to carry your bike or not and a lot of th days people are going on in their bikes so having the cycling option in the maps app is making it so hands-free i'm just loving it so much the ev routing is also there because this is the future of cars all of the cars are not gonna have electrical charging so because of this ev routing you can make sure that you have all of your electrical points and in, in your whole journey making your journey tension free and hassle free i was literally jaw dropped in this particular part they launched something so incredible that it made me go out of my mind they did a de demo with the bmw car in which you are able to unlock your car with your iphone even if you lose your keys you have your iphone with you unlock the car and drive your car you can also set up keys for different people and limit the restrictions especially when it comes for teens we definitely need, need this in our lives this is so amazing literally they just it was mind blowing thing they launched this and i'm so happy app clips is also something which is really incredible which they launched in the keynote it is like you when you always need an app to have an access to a particular shop or if if you're at a coffee shop or if you're at a parking lot you need to have an app for that so that you can pay to it but because of this app clip it is just like an nfc tap on it and there will be a pop up on your iphone which will give you access to the to that particular app even without downloading it trust me our phones is, are going to be without those apps and we're going to just go about all the places with our phone and with the help of this of this app clip we are going to pay and get the access to the app without even downloading it it is so incredible so now let's talk about ipad os a lot of things are being adapted from iOS 14 and the most exciting thing about this iPad OS version is Scribble. You just write on the iPad and it will automatically convert it to text which is so incredible and on any type of text field. In the Notes app or on Procreate, if you draw something it will change it to accurate shapes and sizes and if you draw a line it will change it to a perfectly straight line according to the size and you can adjust it so well. You can copy and paste the handwritten text to a typed text. You can change the color of the text just like any other font or any other word. There are also scratch, this is also scratch to delete, which is so amazing that you just scribble on it on the particular word and it will just delete it. Just like how we do it in a pen, we scribble on it and just like it's for us it's delete, but in this iPadOS version, it's completely deleted. And you can rewrite on it, which is so amazing. You can write it on the Notes app. You can write it on the address bar of Safari, which is so amazing. I just loved this part of the Scribble so much. They have made life so easy with all of these small but major changes. I'm just loving iPad OS so much. So now let's talk about Watch OS 7. So it is so incredible. They even launched an app for washing your own hands. It will detect the sound of squishing of the soap and running water and it will automatically start a countdown for 20 seconds so that we make sure that we wash our hands for 20 seconds which is so important right now to wash your hands properly. They are just, it is such an amazing app and I love this app so much. Now you can have different wash faces right now and also includes, includes a sharing of watch OS which they are calling face sharing. You can now have different watch faces from the different websites and apps and share them instantly. They now even have a sleep tracking app on the watch. You can get your sleep chart and your sleep tracking and breathing moments while you sleep, which is so incredible. In the workouts app, they have added new workouts. As in this lockdown, people are trying to stay fit by staying in their house. They're just watching a ton of YouTube videos so that, you know, you can crush your goal and you can do a particular workout. They have added so many new workouts they have added dance as a workout which is so good for your heart your health and body coordination it will let you know how many calories that you burned during your dance workout a lot of people enjoy dance and they took take it as a form of workout which is so amazing i trust me apple is taking their watch to an another new level moving on from mac os catalina to mac os big sur which they're calling is a very big game changer they launched Catalina about eight months ago and here is the big serve 
while I was watching the keynote, it seemed very seamless and it felt like very a robust version for the iOS and which they're trying to do, make everything very seamless and moderate. Everything feels like the same, like we're in the same ecosystem. They have a sleek design for the dock, making easier access to the apps. We have got all new streamlined apps with a sidebar to refresh toolbars. They have uniform app icons, which adds consistency. They literally look like the apps which you have on your iPhone. You can now customize the toolbar. They made sure nothing looks different from each other by maintaining the consistency. You have a newly designed control center, which looks exactly like iPhone and they too have widgets. You can now customize control center in the same way you do it on your iPhone. Now the Safari has its own design. You can now know how particular website is tracking you and you can leave it if you feel like it's invading your privacy. You can also translate a particular website to the language that you want. Trust me, Safari has gone to its another new level. We tend to go to a lot of websites which, and it, and it is written in a language which we don't know. But because of this translate feature, we can now read the whole website in the language that we want. It is so nice. This thing is no longer a rumor. Apple is transitioning away from its Intel chips to its own chips called Apple Silicon. They would be available in their new MacBooks by the end of this year and they would be transitioning away to all of these inter Apple Silicon chips over a course of two years. They would be making these chips, meeting the requirements of their speed, it's better GPU, better performance, and whatever they want to meet the requirements for the MacBooks and the iMacs that they make, meeting all those requirements, which is so incredible. They, they used to work on PowerX, now they moved on to Mac OS X, they moved on to Intel, and now they're back to their Apple Silicon, which is so incredible. I'm just so happy. I'm really waiting for the launch of these new Apple chips and the new MacBooks, and I'm very eager, and I'm waiting for that to come to the market. So Apple has done a lot of things in this WWDC by launching such an exciting updates while in this situation. I was so jarred up the whole keynote and I was imagining that how the technology is advancing and trust me, for me, they're advancing at a speed of light. They are so advancing too much by get, getting us all these unlocking your car with your phone and Apple clips, EV routing, all of these things make me realize like, trust me, the, the technology is advancing too much, far beyond we can imagine right now. There are so many creators which are thinking about so incredible things in this world. I'm so glad that we are able to have all of these with us. So that's it for now. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram. Comment down below what was the most exciting thing that you liked in the whole WWDC and let me know about it. Please like and subscribe to my channel for further updates. Turn on the bell notification so that you can get to know when I upload my video next. So that's it for now and I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye and stay safe.